All right, guys, just want to talk about change in the way you see things. Um, this comes out of the fact I gave a few ideas to some people recently. Some people have took them on, other people haven't. Now, I'm not going to sit there and force anybody to do something they can't see the opportunity in. Um, I will say that Jay brought an idea to me, what's that, about five or six months ago? Um, and he asked me to look at something. I could see the viability in it. Jay's obviously doing pretty well out of it. I'm about to make some more cash. Um, yeah, it's working well. But it all comes from actually doing stuff that may be outside your normal comfort zone. You have to understand a lot of the stuff around you is defined and set up for you to fail. When you go to school, school is not about teaching you. It's for, it's for conformity. It's for you to accept what people tell you as being the only way to do things, and you will follow those rules. That's what schooling's about. The schooling from a private education to a public one is very different. The, you know When you learn Latin, etc., in a private school, yet you don't even get the opportunity to do that in a public school, doesn't that say something about you? Um, because, let's face it, for legal ambitions, Latin is one of those things that will get you ahead at day one. Um, it also has a lot of other opportunities in there from showing that you have an understanding and a grasp of the Latin language, uh, which comes into different things. Um, it's expansive, but I'm trying not to get on that subject. We've got other stuff to talk about. Um, so one of the things I want to say on this, don't assume to write everything off. If somebody, somebody gives you a, an idea on something and a solid tip to do something, investigate it. See if it's worth doing. Um, I can't really expand out on that at the moment for what we, me and Jay are doing because we're, we're doing th something together. Uh, but we're going to be expanding some stuff out over the next 12, 18 months, which is already seeing some significant growth um, on a daily basis, never mind a weekly or a monthly, and it's going to continue to grow. What I would say, though, is some of the people have actually reached out and say, this is worth having a look at. Go and look at it. Go and investigate it. Try and understand it. Um, because I'm not going to feed it to you. You know, I've, I've had some people approach me and say, Matt, I want to do this. I want to do that. You need to be the person that drives yourself. I've had people ask me, can you get me people to do the call center sales or whatever? I'm not interested. I'm not here to build you a business. You have to build your own. Um, I'm not after anybody I need to mentor either. I don't mind helping people get in the right direction, but I'm not going to carry anybody. Um, the opportunities are there. You just need to work at them and find them. Even doing referrals may sound like it's not big money, but the reason is you're not doing it every day. There is money in referrals. There is, Jay will actually be able to tell you an experience where I made $7,000 in less than a week uh, just on a referral. There is ways to make money on different things. A lot of the time you need to understand that what you see as your day-to-day -day life is not often where you'll make money. You'll find the money in other locations. In the same way, if you're looking to move to the Philippines or wherever, pay your bills or whatever, you need to understand that you need to change. What you're doing now is the same way you've lived your life for your entire life. Has it worked for you so far? Yeah, to a point. But if you want to improve, you're going to have to make some changes. You're going to have to say, you know what, if you want to do referral programs, dedicate one hour every day to doing it, understanding it, getting into SEO marketing so you can understand the long tail, short tail, etc. Understanding that the media power comes from being in all the social media, but also having good content, long articles, etc., videos, and getting across broad section, but also looking for the niches that will pay you the highest yields. Um, 
it takes time. And this is why I say when people say, Matt, can you just show me how to do it? It's like, it's not a six, six day or a six hour adventure. It's a, a lifetime of learning. Um, but there's been a few people that have approached me the last, like I said, last couple of weeks. Some have turned around and just not interested. And some, I met, like Martin, I met with Martin last Monday. Martin's already on board. Um, he's doing something this week. He, he's actually up on Friday, I think, to come and see me face to face. Uh, the same as somebody else that we're working on the English teaching has also done exactly the same. He's now looking at one of these ideas and projects. Now, you may have noticed my last video was relating to finding Koreans, Russians, um, Japanese, and did I mention Chinese? Chinese, Ukrainians, Russians, Japanese, and whoever else. Because um, at the end of the day, English-speaking world, we are already dominant in. At the end of the day, there's plenty of us that speak the, the lingo, but a lot of these markets that I'm talking about now, nobody's doing them. Not in every niche. And this is the thing. You, I was talking to a guy that's Russian today, literally probably about 20 minutes ago. Now, I'm not even going to make any money off what he's doing. But I've just given him the opportunity to go and make himself some money. And that's the way I work. Not everything about what I do is for profit. A lot of the stuff I do is for people to help themselves. And I found an opportunity where some of these people could probably make $10,000 a month. It's up to them now to come and approach me. And I'll help them make some good money. Thanks for watching.